Once you have created a tube or shaft heading, the next step is to define an axis for that heading. The axis is a very important element in an Amberg tunnel project as it is the building block from which the rest of your tunnel design will be based. An axis is made up of two elements, a horizontal alignment and a vertical alignment. Let's go ahead and add a tube heading to the west site. In the project tree, under the construction node, I will right click on the west site and choose add tube heading. I will call this heading rail tunnel and hit OK. Notice now that the rail tunnel has been added underneath the west site. Next, we need to expand the rail tunnel node, right click on axis and select add heading axis. I will name the axis main tunnel rail and hit OK. In the project tree, we can now see the main tunnel rail node underneath the axis. We next need to expand this node to see the horizontal and vertical alignment editors. I will double click on the horizontal alignment editor to open it. In Amberg Tunnel, we can manually define the alignment elements or we can import the definition from a file. Now you can start defining the first element. Amberg Tunnel supports three element types, straights, clotoids and arcs. For each element type, there are a number of different input methods to accommodate the different element parameters you may have available. Note that each input method will activate certain parameters while greying out others. To demonstrate manual input, I will go ahead and make up some values. I will go ahead and change the heading stationing at the start to minus 200. I will leave the type as a straight and I will change the input method to start, start azimuth and length. I will change the length to 300 and I will enter site easting and northing values of 600,000 for the easting and 700,000 for the northing. And finally, I will change my azimuth to 20 degrees. Right click on the 2D map screen and zoom all. Here we can visually see what we just entered for the first element. I will now go ahead and add another element. This time I will change the type to an arc and I will change the radius to 200. I will go ahead and add a third element, leave it as a straight, but change the input method to start, start, azimuth, length. As these are all made up values, I will choose a length this time of 400. Note that if I change one of the values, making the two connected elements inconsistent with each other, Amberg Tunnel will show a warning flag. You can hover over the warning flag to reveal more details. As well as manually inputting the horizontal alignment definition, we can also import the complete definition from a file. To import a definition, right-click anywhere in the editor and choose Import. In the drop-down, you can see the supported file types. I will go ahead and import an XML definition. Next I will scroll down through the element list ensuring that there are no warning flags. If you are happy with everything at this point you should go ahead and save the project. Now I will go to my vertical alignment editor and import the definition. The manual input procedure for the vertical alignment is very similar to the horizontal alignment with some small exceptions. You can derive the vertical alignment from the horizontal alignment. This will bring in the elements along with the heading stationing values. From here you can then choose the appropriate type and input method. The supported element types for vertical alignment are kink, parabola and arc. I will go ahead and import the definition from a file. As well as right clicking and pressing import, we can also choose the import button from the menu here. This time I will choose an ASCII import file type and go ahead and overwrite my current entries. I will once again view the elements row by row to ensure that there are no warning flags. Now that the vertical alignment is finished, I will go ahead and save the project. From here you can go to the 3D overview and view the alignment. If the alignment is not visible, you may need to right click on the map screen and choose show top view. You can then view the alignment in 3D. 
As the alignment is such an important aspect of the project, Amberg Tunnel has a calculator tool for validating the results of the alignment. To use the calculator, right-click on the alignment in the project tree and choose Calculator. Right-click anywhere in the editor to see the options available. The first option is the Interval Points Calculator. Here you can choose a number of options, the most common being the regular interval points. In this example I will choose this option, I will leave the interval to 1 meter and I will hit OK. This will produce a table of points at 1 meter intervals on the chainage. From here you can export the data to text file or DXF and validate the points in a third party software. The other validation option is to choose the point projection calculator. Here you can input absolute coordinates and view those results as axis coordinates. We are now done with axis creation and the next step in the process is to define the theoretical profiles for this alignment.